Across history, some stories refuse to disappear. They rise again in new decades, repeating the same strange idea in different places and through different witnesses. These stories describe machines that did not rely on fuel, wires, or batteries. They speak of energy drawn from the ground, the air, or fields we cannot see. Some say these inventions existed for a moment and then vanished. Others argue they were pushed aside before the public ever learned they were real. Today, we explore those claims, from early experiments to secret flight programs, and the people who believe hidden energy technology once touched our world. Early Claims of Earth Energy Many researchers began their timeline in the early 1900s with a device called the Stubblefield Earth Battery. Nathan Stubblefield claimed he could send power through the ground to bulbs and run simple tools. Supporters say he had discovered a natural electrical field hiding beneath the soil. Another story often linked to this period comes from a photograph said to show Nikola Tesla standing beside a farmer around 1902. In the picture, the farmer reportedly ran his entire property on a strange system of metal stakes hammered into the earth. According to accounts passed down over time, these stakes tapped into electromagnetic and magnetic fields around the planet. The farmer supposedly powered his home, his barn, and several machines without fuel or a connection to a utility line. To supporters, this suggests someone glimpsed a type of energy we still do not fully understand. They argue that if such a device worked even once, it hints at a much larger field waiting to be explored. Critics counter that the story lacks physical proof. They also note that many inventions from that era were misunderstood or exaggerated. Yet the story has remained alive for over a century. Its survival shows how powerful the idea is, and how people continue to wonder whether someone long ago discovered something far ahead of its time. The Strange Craft of Norton Air Force Base Jumping forward several decades, a very different set of claims appears. These stories focus on aerospace programs and classified research, especially during the Cold War. One of the most repeated accounts comes from an air show at Norton Air Force Base in California in 1988. A designer who attended said he was taken into a restricted hangar and shown three unusual crafts. They hovered silently above the floor without wings, propellers, or engines. Officials reportedly called them alien reproduction vehicles. The term did not mean they came from extraterrestrials. Instead, it referred to a design inspired by unusual shapes that appeared in earlier reports. According to the witness, the interior of one craft included components that looked identical to parts used in the Mercury space program from the late 1950s and early 1960s. He said the parts showed marks and discoloration suggesting they had been in space. When he asked how this was possible, he was told the craft had traveled through the solar system. Supporters claim this proves advanced propulsion was tested decades before the public heard anything similar. They believe these crafts used a type of field propulsion, pulling energy from the space around them rather than burning fuel. Critics argue the story depends on memory, not physical evidence. They also point out that secret programs often borrow old hardware for testing. Still, the account continues to spread because it raises a simple but powerful question. If such craft existed even briefly, where did the technology come from? And why did it never reach the public? The lack of clear answers keeps the story alive. Forgotten Inventions and the Case of Floyd Sweet Not all claims involve aircraft. Some centers on small devices are said to produce large amounts of clean power. One inventor often mentioned in these discussions is Floyd Sweet. Supporters say he built a device known as the Vacuum Triode Amplifier. It was described as a small, solid-state box the size of a cigarette pack. Once activated, it reportedly produced steady electrical power without heating, noise, or fuel. Sweet supporters claimed the device ran a 300-horsepower motor during a private demonstration. According to them, the motor delivered full torque, even though no batteries or generators were connected. They believed the device drew energy from the quantum vacuum, a field that some physicists agree exists but has never been harnessed in this way. Sweet gained interest from engineers and investors, including people from a major car company. 
Supporters say this meeting was a turning point. They claim the company wanted to learn how the device functioned, not to help bring it to the world. Shortly after, Sweet died from what was described as a natural cause. Some accept this explanation. Others think his work attracted attention from those who did not want new energy technology spreading without control. They also point to an earlier incident in which someone reportedly fired a shot at him as he climbed stairs. A military officer later offered testimony supporting parts of Sweet's story. Critics argue these claims rely on anecdotes. But to many researchers, the pattern feels familiar. They see it repeated in dozens of stories where inventors reached the edge of a breakthrough and then vanished from the field before anything could be confirmed. Patent blocks and the national security wall. Another major issue appears when inventors attempt to patent their devices. Supporters of unconventional energy research claim this is where the true gatekeeping happens. They say many inventors file their patents with excitement, only to receive a national security order that blocks publication. These orders are legal tools that prevent certain technologies from becoming public. The official explanation is that some inventions could pose threats if misused. However, supporters believe the real reason is economic. They argue that any device that could replace fossil fuels, large battery banks, or major infrastructure becomes a threat to powerful industries. Researchers point to stories of patents seized before they ever reach the public. A former patent examiner has been quoted as saying, many advanced energy designs are quietly removed. Critics argue the number is far lower than claimed. They note that most national security orders involve weapons, not energy. Yet the possibility remains. Even the idea that energy devices could be restricted creates fear among inventors. Some decide not to patent their work at all. Others become secretive and never share results with independent labs. Some disappear from public view after interest from large organizations. This uncertainty forms one of the biggest challenges in the field. If inventors fear losing control, being blocked or being silenced, they may never publish their findings, leaving the public with rumors instead of testable data. A new path for safe and open disclosure. Because of these concerns, some researchers propose new methods for sharing breakthroughs. They argue that keeping secrets does not protect inventors. Instead, it isolates them and makes them easy targets. Their solution is called detargeting. Instead of storing information in one place, inventors would copy it across many secure networks. If anything happened to them, the data would remain safe. They also suggest using dead man triggers, digital systems that automatically release files if an inventor cannot check in. In theory, this stops anyone from threatening or silencing an inventor because the information would spread instantly. Supporters believe this approach removes fear and encourages open science. They also propose open sourcing the first layer of each invention. This means showing how it works, letting laboratories reproduce results, and allowing peer review. Once hundreds of people understand the principles, no one can suppress them. Another idea is to place early devices in the homes of well-known public figures who support transparency in energy research. Supporters say media outlets might ignore one inventor, but they cannot ignore several high-profile people running their homes on small, silent boxes with no fuel. Critics question whether celebrities would agree, or whether the devices would work as claimed. Yet even critics admit that the current system can make it difficult for new technology to reach the public. These proposals reflect a desire, not just for discovery, but for fairness, safety, and shared progress in a field filled with uncertainty. The world of hidden energy research is filled with bold claims, passionate inventors, and stories that blend hope, mystery, and controversy. Some believe early pioneers tapped into natural fields and created devices that broke the limits of known science. Others think these stories grew from misunderstandings or missing evidence, yet the interest continues because the stakes are enormous. Clean, constant energy would reshape modern life. Whether these claims reflect real breakthroughs or simply the dreams of determined inventors, they continue to inspire curiosity. The search for answers goes on, driven by questions that remain larger than the evidence we have.